Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Austin from awfulmedia.com and today we're going to actually kind of fix what we did last time. In the last video, at the end of the video, I did say the next video we will probably be fixing some mistakes. And while it's not really a mistake, it's just something I want to do right. And I don't know why I went this method. Like it was kind of just to drive the logic of the query across, but I do believe if I'm going to teach it, I need to teach it the right way and for now on the right way the first time. So what we're going to do is actually just, oop, look at that, all gone, even the tag that I needed there. Okay, so we're going to actually just rewrite our loop, which means we can get rid of all we will need is the end while. So what we have to do though is define a few things a little differently. Remember that we had our category name and our posts per page defined in an array. We're going to do that a little bit different this time. We're going to define those inside of a variable. If you are new to any kind of programming language, you may not know what a variable actually is. And it is the same as it is in algebra, letter or something, just anything that holds a specific value that in this case we define. So args is going to stand for arguments, which are going to be arguments that we pass into the query. An argument is just like, hey, I'm gonna look for a query that I want this category and I want this many amount of posts. So the category name, that's an argument the amount of posts, that's going to be an argument. So we're going to define all of these inside an array and place all of those values inside of this variable so we can access it in our query without a problem. So we're going to say args equals array. And we've already worked with arrays a couple times, so I'm not going to explain the array thing, but it's, it's the same as it's been. Inside of this, we're going to define a couple things that we've wanted to find just a little counterproductive, but it has to be done. Category name. Again, already done this. Just doing it right this time. And we have to define how many posts we want per page. So posts per page. And I believe we used three. Oops, don't need to <laughs> put those in apostrophe there. All right, so we have our array stored inside of our argument variable. Now we're going to define another variable. <laughs> Again, if we don't get the idea of variables, then this may not make any sense at all. So remember, variable, just like x equals two in algebra, we're gonna be using args equals array. So now we can use args anywhere to grab the value of the array. The next variable we're going to be defining is query. I'm just making these up. Query could be pink pony. It doesn't really matter. So the query is going to equal new WordPress underscore query. And that's a function. Now what does that mean? That's just going to start a new query for us. This whole thing is just starting a new query. So new WordPress query, and then it has the parentheses. So what that means is we're going to start a new WordPress query. I don't know how else to explain that. Inside of these parentheses, we're going to pass our arguments. Now, how do we do that? Well, we could write the whole array inside of here, but we're not going to do that. We're going to just grab the variable we ought to define as args. So now our arguments are passed into our WordPress query. So hopefully it will only grab the posts that we defined, the featured posts and only three per page. That is what it should do. And now a little familiar ground, we're going to do a while loop. So we're going to loop through while we have posts. And how do we do that? Well, we just did this. So while, I'm gonna open that up. 
This time it's going to be a little bit different because we're going to say while query have posts. Okay, so it's the same thing except we're specifying query variable. That query stores or the query variable will store our WordPress query. So while it has found some posts, again, query have post. Oop. Now this should be pretty familiar. This is kind of similar to what we just did. So we're checking if we have posts and then we're grabbing the post information. And I just wrote the same thing twice. The post, sorry. The post, there we go. That makes a little more sense. So this should be pretty much the exact same thing, just done correctly. So if we control S, we should have the same thing. If we refresh the page, nothing changed, which is good. So now we have the whole rewrote query that does the exact same thing. And now we understand, if you didn't before, now we understand how variables work and how we can pass them into our query and how we can store our arguments in a variable and pass that along as well. So if the same thing was achieved, just a different route. And again, I don't know why I did it that way. I knew when I was doing it that it wasn't the most efficient route to take and it really wasn't the way you would be doing it in the industry if you were developing themes for a living or something. You would not be doing it this way. I just thought it would be a good idea for some reason to teach the most basic simplistic ways to do it and that's not what you're here for. You're here to learn the best ways to do things. So we've done the same thing, just done it better. And I, I'm sorry this video wasn't anything new or original, it just uh, wanted to fix the issue that I caused. Also, what should we be doing next on our theme? We have to work on the index page. We have to finish up the index page, but what should we do next? Keep in mind, we're doing a flash game website. So it has to be something related to that. I was considering maybe a new games kind of thing down here. What would be here? Like a game advertisement, like advertising a new game on the website or something. Obviously all this is just for a mock-up and just for uh, visualization purposes, because it's not going to be a real website. The theme will be available to be downloaded, of course, um, but that, that's pretty much it. Do whatever you want to with it then. But for now, everything is just for looks. So I was thinking like an ad that would link to one of our own games on the website or something like that, not an external ad. And down here have like a new games kind of thing or a, something like that. So let me know below and I will see what fits well for the next video. If you'll do that, I love you forever. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time.